it's your girl April and this is going to be a mishmash of video today kind of like a this and that and this and that so first of all I want to say thank you guys for tuning in to my channel and the hair that I'm rocking is actually synthetic hair this is the outre Dominican blowout that I got from sister wig in the color dr30 which is absolutely gorgeous she's gorgeous She's absolutely gorgeous. I love her. I really do like this wig a whole, whole lot. So, so yes. So first of all, like I said, this is going to be a mixture of things. In case you guys are wondering, I do get a lot of questions about my bedding on my bed. Um, so I do have some new bedding going on right here, if you girls can see. And I have a wig on the bed too. But this pillow set or comforter set is absolutely gorgeous. And... Some of the pillows didn't come from the set, but some of them did. So in case you're wondering where I got that from, you can look in Ross. If you have a Ross in your town, that's exactly where I got it from. And it was $70 after taxes. So yeah, 70 bucks after taxes. So let's start this video with the first thing. Um, yes, I promised to do some swatches for a young lady for um, the Too Faced Matte Natural Tin. But on my eyes today, this is the Peanut Butter and Jelly by Too Faced that was just released on the 13th of March. And I absolutely am in love with this. So, yes, you guys. I'm like a huge Too Faced fan. And I was sent a gift um, card from them to go and to get a eyeshadow palette from their Peanut Butter and Jelly collection. So, that was super amazing. I was really psyched about that. So she asked me to do a swatch of an older palette. It's not really that old, but it's older. It's like not the new one, which is the natural matte, because I showed it in a makeup haul. So I did promise to do that. Well, I didn't write it back, but I would be more than obliged to do that. So let's just see here. So first of all, there's 36 bucks. I love the little tins like this. This is the peanut butter one. They all actually smell. Um, except for this one. I'm not really smelling this one too much, but this peanut butter and jelly one smells like kind of like chocolate and peanut butter mix so for the natural matte what I'm gonna do because each person's complexion is a little bit different so it shows up differently on each person so I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer on my hand and this is like a neutral color so that way you can see it better and you'll know what it will look like in general so for the first row um, this is heaven cashmere bunny and sexpresso the Espresso is actually in another palette that I have from them, which is also small, and it's called, um, I think it's matte something or natural something, whatever. But, so this is the Espresso, Cashmere, Bunny, and Heaven. So this is the colors right here. Maybe I should turn the light down so you guys can see it a little bit better. So that's the colors right there. So for this row, it's Lace Teddy, Strapless, and Risqué. And there are a lot of browns in this palette. So if you're a neutral girl, this palette is more or less for you. The color right here, they are very similar. So right here underneath is the second row of colors. And let's see if I can get this one a little bit more showing. So there, these colors right here, which is Espresso and Risqué, are very similar to each other and you can see that on the swatches here on my hand. They're very similar to one another and this is the second row which is this row here and that is the one on the bottom. So to me they're very very similar. Now the one that the row that I like the best is the bottom row which is Nudie Honey Butter and Chocolate Cookie. Chocolate Cookie is actually my favorite out of all of them. And the bottom row, here we go, is um, chocolate cookie, honey butter, and nudie. So very similar in color. They're really great eyeshadows, very like um, intense, especially if you are building them. They're very intense, but they all seem to make, every last color in that palette seems to make like the best transition color ever. And I really do love that palette a lot. It's one of my favorites. Um, as for the peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and jelly, I have the entire peanut butter and jelly palette on my eyelids. And and this one is absolutely 
like stunning it's amazing and i love this so i'm super excited about this palette and i'm so glad that um Too Faced sent this to me it was like okay awesome 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 i think it has a lot to do with um ulta they can tell who's buying what and i, I buy like a lot of Too Faced stuff and i bought like a lot of Too Faced stuff over the past month so when i was contacted via email and then I was sent the actual gift card to go out and buy, get this particular item because it was for peanut butter and jelly. And it was reserved for me at the Ulta near me. I was like, okay, yes, hunties, yes. So yes, I was really excited about that. And I will do a to make a tutorial, which I've already done it today, but I will do a more in-depth um, description of this at another later date. So let's get into the actual video i'm wondering should i even turn the light back on because this is like cooling it gets really hot with this light in my face so yes so let's get on to the video now first of all first things first i got a doorbell ring today from the ups man and i get packages all the time normally i know where they're coming from who sent them and what have you the ups guy just dropped the package off and went about his business I did look on the box return label and was not very familiar of this company unless they emailed me under something different. Um, but it's called Royal RoyalIMix.com. And inside of it was this wig, which I don't even re remember requesting. And it's by um, a new company called Sis Sister Wig. So their name is Sis Sister Wig, The Privilege of the Elite. Is that what it says? Like the privilege of the elite? Yes, the privilege of the elite. And it's a lace wig. And it is super big, hand-tied, bigger lace. And the name of the wig is Clover. And it also came with this book um, by Sis Sister Wig. So the first things first, when I seen this, I was like, okay, this is Sister Wig. They got their own sisterwigs.com. They got their own brand out now. This is what I thought. Lately obsessed with wigs. And um, no, I don't really know where this still came from. But they sent me this book with it, and it has, like, all these wigs, um, A-line cut collection of all these, like, really nice wigs. Like, I'm not really sure who this is, but, yeah, so, super excited about that. I'm really not sure how they got my address. Some of the wigs in here I wouldn't wear if you paid me to, but, yeah, some of them I wouldn't no way but some of them are really really nice and this when it says super big hand tied bigger lace they aren't lying long and full volume now like i said i didn't i don't remember anyone by this company name emailing me and asking me about this wig unless one of the other wig companies decided to send it to me this right here, this packaging, this is by Zuri. Products of Hollywood and Zuri. So maybe it was Zuri hair that sent this to me because they did ask me like a couple of months ago would I like to start receiving wigs by them. And I was like, okay, sure. So maybe it was this. I'll have to go back and take a look. But let me tell you something. This, this damn thing is heavy. This right here, it feels like there's something inside of it. I don't know if it's a bomb and I shouldn't open it or if I put it on my head or my hair is going to fall out or what have you. But I will go back and look through my actual emails so that way I can do the review. If not, I don't know where this head came from. The portion of the video. So you guys are, you girls already know, and if you guys are watching, you guys know to them. Um, you girls and guys know that I love monthly subscription boxes, packages, makeup. I like anything that's going to come in the mail. Even though I already know what it is, I'm happy. So I forgot to, totally forgot to do this video for Splendies.com, which is a sister company, company to Volupties. So yes, hunties, yes. Panty, panty raid, the panty raid. This was a February subscription, and I kept it on hold and put it somewhere and forgot all about it. So if you don't know of Splendy slash Volupties, it is a monthly subscription where you get three pair of panties each month, and they are to your liking, meaning you can, before you subscribe, you subscribe to their um, website, you pick what type of panty styles you like, whether it be boy cut shorts, thongs, G-strings, bikinis, granny panties, what have you. You set the stage of what type of panties you like. Now, me, I like all kinds. It could be thong. Well, I don't really like granny panties unless it's that time of the month. But 
and I do get a couple pair from them, which do come in handy for that time of the month. So being that it was for February, of course February is Valentine's Day, and everything I got was in red. So I'm glad that I found this and I could finally put it in my drawer. So this one here I think is my favorite pair. I'm not really sure because I love gray, and if you can see my bedding is gray too in my pillows. I love gray, black, white, and pink, so that is more or less my room is geared to that. But these are like that lycra material and they are so stretchable. This kind of panty though I like a lot because when you're wearing these, you really don't see like the panty line so much because it kind of like melts into your skin. So when you're going with beloved, um their panties I'm in the voluptu section which is the plus size section or the more curvy section which I am okay you need to go up a size so I get a 2x and sometimes they may be a tiny bit too big but normally they fit just perfect and if they are a little bit too big then you know that it is what it is but I like these because they're so comfy and I like the style of the next these. pair which I love too I like them all and I actually have these in beige and white just um, not from this company but just from buying them myself are these right here they're like all lace so sexy so when you put them on they kind of go up like on your hips depending on your body frame and shape but they go like this they do have the cotton in the um, crotch area in the JJ area so that way you don't have to worry about sweating or if you want to wear a panty liner with it you can too but I love lace panties like this now I'm not saying you could wear the lace panties or everything, especially if your material is really thin on like your dress. Sometimes you can see through it or you can see like the imprints. But these are like so freaking cute. They're more or less like a mauve color and I love mauve. Um, that's like the color of my lipstick that I have on today too, this color. So I love colors like this because they're more or less neutral and they go well with my skin tone. And then the last pair, so the one thing about these, I'm going to have to get a bra that matches them because I don't have any bras to match these. But here we go. These are like a deep wine burgundy color and they have like the lace all right here in the front, which is absolutely gorgeous. And in the back, you do see the rouching. Now, I'm not really sure that's supposed to lift up your, lift up your dairy air. However, I do love Splendies slash Voluptis. The first time you, um, the subscription is $13 a month, but for the first month, it's $9.99. And I will post their information for you girls below so that way you can check them out. But who doesn't like to get underwear it, or clean underwear? Well, unless you don't want to be clean. And that's really not my business. So let's go on to the last item which I be raving about all the time. The one that I constantly get and I'm so happy about. And I will tell the world about this company because it's so worth it. Is Curl Kit. These boxes that you get every month are like super duper amazing like can we say amazing can we say amazing they're super duper amazing like everything in this box I can use and the sizes are full and luxury samples like everything in this box is amazing curl kit is amazing and it's super affordable and I love everything about them so I got two packages from them one is for a sneak peek which I will share with you after I share with you this. So let's see what's in this box. First of all, in every box you did get one of these pamphlets, brochures, books, whatever you want to call them, little magazines, that did tell you about the products and how you can keep your hair protective and heat friendly and non-heat friendly. Just things and ways to style your hair as well as some coupons inside. Your box always comes like this. And let me tell you guys, I know you guys like, you get a lot of hair care products, what do you do with them all? I share them with my daughter Tatiana who lives on her own, so I share these with her because I don't need as many as I have now, which is huge. So if you want to see a collection of my hair care products, leave that comment below and thumbs this video up and I'll be more than happy to share that with you. So Shea Moisture is a popular brand. It's not too cheap and it's not too expensive, but you can always find it at like Target. Um, and this is their Conditioner Curl Enhancing Smoothie for thick curly hair. And this is the conditioner. So I have four of the same, which is fine because these are luxury size samples. Uh, so there's four of them. They're perforated. I love these because I have like this huge sample bag that I keep. If I don't keep it, I give it to Tati and she uses them. She has thick curly hair, so she loves getting these things. So what she 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 asked me, oh did you did we get our box? Did you get your your box? I I, I need some products. So she doesn't buy anything for her hair because she gets it from me. So a lot of this stuff today I'm gonna be giving to her. I also have 
have the Ori Essentials Twisting Butter. So if you want to have twist in your hair, and this smells good. Oh my God. This is like a souffle type of texture. And I would want to rub this on my body. Made with natural and organic ingredients. So this is really good for people who like twists. I put twists in Mumsy's hair prior to her braids, but I used to, and nays. So I wish I would have gotten this like a while ago because this would have came in handy. I got this. I've never heard of this company, but a lot of these products are like, you know, local companies and what have you. I also got the nail polish by Robel. I got this in an older box, not by Curl Kit. I think it was by We Are Onyx in the same exact color. So it's this nail polish. Last month from We Are Onyx, I did get this, which is Mop Top. And it's a clarifying rescue treatment. So it just infuses your hair if it's damaged or broken off, what have you. And I actually gave mine to my daughter. So this one I'll keep because I'm pretty sure she doesn't need two of them. So this, which I love, is the Alma and Olive Heavy Cream. This is great for coarse hair. I used to use this all the time on my daughter's, my two youngest daughter's hair. Because they have really coarse, thick hair. So it sucks up like a lot of grease and moisture. I would wash their hair and put this in their hair when it was damp, after it was conditioned. And it would keep the luster. Along with other things that I would use, like natural shea butter and things like that. I would use that definitely. And this one here, uh, which is by Eco Cocktail. I have so many of these and I really like these. These are like awesome. This strengthens your hair and your roots. So I did have a huge bottle of this and ran out and used it all. Um, also the Ori Essentials Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. So this is great for curly hair, especially if you want to let it air dry. You can put, what I would do honestly with this is I would put a little bit in with a, a little bit of water, mix it up and spray it in my hair. Because this is leave-in conditioner moisturizing, so it's really thick and I really wouldn't want this to weigh my hair down. So I would mix this with water and that way, you know, it won't weigh my hair down. But it does say apply a generous amount to damp or dry hair. What you can do that as well. So before I do that, I'll just try this on one of my curly units and see how that works. Because I do put like certain products in my curly units to keep the moisture in the hair so it doesn't frizz up. And the last thing, I love these products. This is one of my favorite now, thanks to Curl Kit, which is the Cream of Nature Eden brand. Now, I have never used this one, but I have all their shampoos and leave-in conditioners, which I love. And this is their repairing oil, coconut, avocado, and olive oils. So this right here is probably a spray. It is. It is a spray. And this just controls frizz, fortifies and repairs, renews shine, and keeps it hydrated. So this is something really cool, which I'm probably going to give to Tati because she has big curly hair. And sometimes because she has big curly hair, it looks a little dry, you know. So she probably needs this more than I will. So next, their um, sneak peeks. Um, these are the sneak peek bags, and I love getting these too. And so this is something new, and these are the sneaky peeks, sneaky peeks. So this one here, it's all about curly hair for this box. Simply curly hair, but you don't really have to use it if you don't have curly hair. If you got a curly wig, you can use it too. This is Curl Cream, Separate and Define for Bounce and Shine. And this is from Derma or Derm Organic. Really nice crescent right here. Um, the bottle was taped closed, so that way it doesn't spill in the actual packaging, which I appreciate because I've gotten things that were open and not per se from Curl Kit, but just from other companies and it was spilled in a box and I was just so bummed because I lost a lot of product from it. So it's more or less like a lotion-y cream. It really doesn't have a smell to it like that. It's a very light scent, light fragrance, um, but this is to keep your curls hydrated. So I'm going to keep that one because I have a lot of curly units and I like to work with curly units and I like to try stuff in the hair to see how it works. So I'm going to keep this because it's very lightweight and I want to give this a try. I love to use certain products only but I'm going to venture out and I want to give this a try but this is the curl cream. And the last one which I love this brand, I had another item from them which was also a curl enhancer. This is the Jonathan and this is their Hydra Curls. This just reactivates your curls so that way you don't have to wash them or rewash your hair. Um, especially if it gets dried out, what have you. This will be really great for one of my favorite units, which I'm going to spray that in. I'll probably put it on today too. Well, maybe not, but tomorrow I will. But I you know, there are some curly units that I have that may dry out after a couple of days, and I don't really like to wash them every few days. 
But I do like to spray stuff on them. I'll put like styling mousse, cream of nature, styling mousse or what have you. So this one just regenerates them, refreshes your curls. So that's what I'll do with this by Heart Arm Jonathan. This is the Hydra Curls. So we shall see how this works. If it works really good, then I'll let you girls know. So yes, ladies. Yes, hunties. That was just my crazy haul for monthly subscriptions and what have you. And just a mish of mosh of things put together. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs this video up. And I'll see you girls on my next video. So first of all, there's 36 bucks. I love the little tins like this. This is the peanut butter one. They all actually smell. Oh, God, that really hurt. So they all actually smell. And, um.